Hey, what's up everybody? This is Richie here with another redstone tutorial. And today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a 2x2 two two water or lava door that closes and you can walk right through. Now how this works is you step on the pressure plate and it gets cleared with the pistons and momentarily picked up with dispensers up in here. And then it should soon fall back down again and return to its original state. Now this works in survival. You don't take damage from the pistons or anything. If you are using lava, however, you may take half a heart every once in a while, but it's not really anything big. So let's get going with the tutorial on how to build this. So first, what you're going to need to build this is four repeaters, two dispensers, 21 redstone, six slabs, six pistons, a sticky piston, four pressure plates, two water or lava buckets, and a bunch of blocks. So, the first thing we're going to do is put three blocks in sides of two, six blocks like that, and then pressure plates on the side of it, like that. Then we're going to come up right here and put two pistons facing inward, you can take out those temporary blocks and then put a block here and make a ring of blocks around like this. Then you can put some blocks up on the side that are temporary and put a dispenser here and a dispenser here, both facing downward. From that point, you want to come down under the pressure plates and leaving a block gap, place two blocks like this and on the other side of the pressure plates, two blocks like that. And put redstone on them, just like that. So then what you want to do is pick a side, it can be either one, and put two blocks right here with redstone on top of them, and then another block right here with redstone on it, and then another block, a sticky piston facing upward, and another block. Then you're going to put a repeater right here, a repeater here, and a block on the sticky piston. Then coming around to the other side, you're going to grab a solid block and then put a slab right here, same as the top half of this block, and then take a temporary block and put a slab right here, just one below the bottom of this block. And you're going to keep carrying this sort of train of slabs up in this zigzag pattern. Make sure they're all top half slabs because we will have to put redstone on them. But now that you have that, just coat the entire thing in redstone. Then you simply want to put redstone here, 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 and here. And that is actually the basic circuit done. The one thing we do want to do is close this off for right now and put a block right here and a block right here with redstone on both of them and then a repeater facing in this way and one facing in this way. Set each to four ticks and put a block right here. Now this is actually your redstone contraption done. You might want to do some cleaning up, like putting blocks here, and blocks here and there. So to get this to work for the first time, what you're going to do is place water or lava in both sides, and then take two empty buckets, presumably the ones you used to place the water and lava in, and put one right here, and then one right here. And now, if you walk up to it, hopefully, it should do that. This has been Richie. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial very much, and I will see you guys next time.